We've reached the final out. Time now for the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin Dave McCann. Ohio State defeats BYU 7-2 in Game 2 of the MLB Desert Invitational here in Mesa, Arizona. Our final stats are presented by Siegfried and Jensen, helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. Ohio State, seven runs on 11 hits, just one error. For BYU, two runs on six hits and three errors for the Cougars. And the winning pitcher for Ohio State and solid right from the start is Kaz, or not Kazmaier, is Purcell, correction. And a strong effort by Shaw. Purcell just went five innings, gave up five hits, one run, had four strikeouts. But Shaw came in in four innings of work, one run on the home run by Aloy, and six BYU strikeouts. For the Cougars, it was a committee tonight. Cutter Clawson went five and a third. When he left, he'd given up three runs on six hits, five walks, six strikeouts. Dolly, two-thirds of an inning, a walk and a strikeout. Olsen, an inning of work, allowed two hits with three strikeouts. Mabius pitched an inning tonight, gave up two runs on two hits, also with three strikeouts. When BYU got outs, they got him with strikes. Gubler allowing two runs on a pair of walks, and Kuhn giving up a hit and a strikeout. And that is the committee for BYU tonight in a 7-2 to defeat. Offensively, the biggest Buckeye was Kazmar. Three of five, drove in three runs, had an impressive triple. Pedarini right behind him, three hits in five at-bats. He drove in a couple of runs. Mershon drew three walks. The Cougars walked nine Buckeyes tonight. We talked about Ohio State losing to Boston College. One of the reasons why were ten walks yesterday. BYU came back with nine today. And uh, that factored in huge as the Buckeyes seem to have runners in scoring position all night long. Luke Anderson for BYU went two of four. Robinson, one of four, a couple of strikeouts. Easton Jones, one of four, had a ground rule double and three strikeouts. Herdsman was one for four. Reuter was 0 for four. Vest, 0 for four. Watkins, 0 for three. Watkins with a big night last night. Two strikeouts tonight. Just couldn't get it going. Alloy went one for three with a home run to center field. And Beck, 0 for three for BYU. 7-2, to two, the Buckeyes are the winners. And we'll visit with head coach Trent Pratt as the postgame show rolls on from Sloan Park in Mesa, Arizona. 7-2 Ohio State. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the BYU Baseball postgame show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Welcome back to Mesa, Arizona. Dave McCann, Ohio State beats BYU 7-2 as the Cougars go to 1-1 one one in the MLB Desert Invitational, and uh, my pleasure to be joined by BYU head coach Trent Pratt. Just coming up from the team, I know you rallied them and, and circled them out just beyond third base. Uh, what was the immediate message after this one tonight? Oh man, it's we talk about all the time. This this game, you need to throw strikes, play catch, put the ball in play, and we didn't do a very good job of those tonight. I think we walked or hit eleven guys tonight. We gave them eleven free bases. Um, we had chances early. Guy in second, no outs, don't get him in. Second and third, no outs, don't get him in. And so you keep giving those te- that team that many chances, eventually it's going to get you. And when you have your chances, you, you got to do something with them. And we didn't do a good job of that tonight. Cutter Claussen gave up just three runs, but it felt like he had hard work every inning outside of the first. Yeah, it was, you know, it was behind in the count. You know, guys always on base, too many walks. And he battled. That's the thing. We, we pitched out of a lot of jams. But you can't pitch out of jams every inning. Um, that's what it felt like. Every inning was hard. Like every inning, there was always guys on base, and this team will put pressure on you. And we we just didn't throw enough strikes tonight. And when we did, we fell behind. The offensive side, we just we had when you have those chances, you got to take advantage of them. And you got to get some momentum. We didn't do a good job of that. You go to the uh, fourth inning. Uh, you get a run in the fourth, but runners at second and third 
uh, and, a, and a couple of chances. That it felt like that was the one inning to yeah. get to get after him. And, and you and you score runs, and it takes some pressure off. And we, you know, they they make an error, and we didn't make them pay. Um, we made an error, and they got a run out of it. And so it's just those things. You know, you, that's how you win and lose baseball games. And we had chances early, didn't do anything, and then we just kept playing with fire every inning. It's an interesting 18-inning case study of last night and tonight where this is what happens when everything good goes, and this is what can happen when things struggle. Uh, in, in your laboratory with 51 more games to play with a team you're trying to put together, um, two valuable lessons to take into the weekend for a Monday game. Yeah, and, you know, yesterday Ohio State walked 10 guys, yeah. and they lost. Tonight we walk 11, give them 11, and it's hard to win if you're going to give – uh, any team that many free base runners, you know, without having to get an out. First chance to see Boston Mabius. He got in a little bit of trouble but delivered some good pitches. You got a chance to, to pitch a bunch of guys that you wouldn't ordinarily pitch per se, but, but the nature of the game allows you to get some young arms <coughs> out there. And no, we need we need to get some of those guys that are new, haven't pitched them. We need right. to get them in games. And and Kenny came in, you know, and did a good job. He walked a guy, got a couple punch outs, ground ball, you know, but you walk a guy and hit a guy, and that's, you know, gives up a run. Um, so they score a run with, against him without really getting a hit. And he'll keep getting better. Like, he has, they have really good stuff. It's just a matter of getting them in the game and, and getting them used to it and getting them comfortable. Well, your freshman, Kihio Aloy, hit a, a, a major league home run to center field, which is the deepest part of this ballpark. This is two days in a row where we've been able to see his power. Is it, um, is it a fearless swing or what for this young kid? Yeah, he just, he just keeps getting better all the time. Um, he, he has a chance to be a really special player when it's all said and done. And um, from the start of the fall until now, man, he just keeps getting better. And, and he he knows his swing, and he's starting to improve and understand, you know, how, how people are going to pitch him. Um, and the sky's really the limit for him. He had a couple of cuts where uh, where he could have put it maybe out, out near Phoenix. But um, I, I know you love that attitude of, of fearlessness in a game where you take a little fear to the plate and all of a sudden you're outside of your mind. Yeah, um, he, he's dangerous. Like, you, people see that swing, and every time he fouls one off, everyone's going, ooh, like, oh, he just missed it. Um, but, no, he, <laughs> he's going to keep he's gonna keep getting better and better and better, and, you know, we, we just we got to do a better job. It was an interesting night for your catcher, Colin Reuter, who had missed so much time. Last night, again, where everything went right, but he had a workout tonight, blocking catches, balls kind of popped out of his hands a little bit. You could see he was frustrated at the plate. Um but here's a kid who hasn't played for so long, and you look down to your first baseman, Brock Watkins, who had a different kind of night from last night. Again, uh, guys that you're just getting back after a year or two uh, uh, of losing them. But those are two key guys that that uh, have had two very different nights. Yeah, and these things, I mean, baseball, baseball's up and down. We got to stay, you know, consistent and and keep, you know, working on what we can work on. And do it that way, but those guys are gonna, you're going to have days like that. Um, major leaguers have them. It's just how quick can we bounce back? Um, hopefully, we learn from what we did today, and we're better on Monday because we're going to play a really good team on Monday. They are uh, Grand Canyon, and right now Grand Canyon leads USC four to nothing uh, through six innings. So, what happens now? We're on the road. It's the first road trip with your young team. Uh, Sunday tomorrow, and then a game early on Monday. What's the schedule for for how you're going to keep? Man, it? we'll wake up, get breakfast, give an option to go to church. We'll have a team dinner tomorrow night and, man, have an early curfew and get ready to play Monday. It'll be 75 and sunny. Perfect. And a chance to play another game here at Sloan Park. Coach, thank you so much for the visit. Thanks, Dave. Trent Pratt, head coach at BYU Cougars in Grand Canyon, 3 o'clock Eastern time on Monday afternoon here on BYU Radio. Back with some final thoughts in a moment. Ohio State beats BYU 7-2. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Nice visit with Trent Pratt, BYU Baseball Coach. Ohio State gets the Cougars tonight, 7-2, to two, nine walks and two hit batsmen. That's 11 free passes. And Ohio State got four late to kind of break open a tight one, and the Buckeyes win it. So BYU's 1-1 one and, one and back in action on Monday, President's Day, at 3 o'clock Eastern time, one mountain time. I imagine there will be a good BYU crowd. Grand Canyon will have a crowd in here, too, as they're the local team. 
and it should be a festive President's Day under perfect weather conditions and a chance for BYU to get back at it after a disappointing night tonight. Our final score, the Buckeyes 7 and the Cougars 2. I'm Dave McCann. Thank you so much for listening here on BYU Radio. Sean O'Neill back running the board for us tonight. And uh, our Saturday night at Sloan Park in Mesa, Arizona, has come to a close. We'll talk to you live on Monday on BYU Radio. I'm Dave McCann. We say so long from Sloan Park in Mesa. Thank you for listening, everybody. See you on Monday. You've been listening to live coverage of BYU baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Live coverage of BYU baseball is brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA, proud sponsor of the BYU baseball team. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Shane Reese, Vice President Keith Borking, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director of Corporate Sponsorships Casey Stauffer. BYU Cougars Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.